Imagine a world where your thoughts are not your own, controlled by unseen forces. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie, but a conspiracy theory that has been around for decades. It all began in the shadowy depths of the Cold War era, a time when fear and paranoia were as common as breakfast cereal. The world was a chessboard, and the grandmasters were the USA and USSR. In this fog of fear, the notion of mind control began to take root. The Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, was said to be experimenting with LSD and other hallucinogenic substances. The goal? Behavior modification. The method? A top-secret program rumored to be known as MK Ultra. The seeds of this conspiracy were planted in a time of fear and uncertainty, a time when the unimaginable seemed all too possible. In the heart of this conspiracy is a program known as MK Ultra, a name that would become synonymous with government mind control. Let's peel back the layers of this enigma. MK Ultra was not a mere shadowy whisper in the corridors of power. It was a legitimate, albeit covert, project of the Central Intelligence Agency in the mid-20th century. Its primary objective? To explore the boundaries of behavior modification and the potential for mind control. This was the era of the Cold War, when the race for supremacy was not just about nuclear arsenals, but also about mastering the human mind. The tools of choice for this clandestine endeavor were LSD and other hallucinogenic substances. The CIA, in its quest to unlock the secrets of the mind, administered these substances to American citizens. This was not a case of volunteers stepping forward for scientific progress. No, these were ordinary folk, unaware that they were about to become test subjects in one of the most controversial experiments in history. Forget about consent forms or ethical committees. This was the Cold War, and the rules of the game were different. The subjects were a diverse lot, encompassing mental patients, prisoners, drug addicts, and even unsuspecting members of the public. The veil of secrecy was so pervasive that many subjects were oblivious to their participation in a government program. The aim was to understand how these substances could alter a person's mental state, influence their thoughts, and potentially control their actions. Could a Manchurian candidate be created, a sleeper agent who could be activated on command? Could an enemy be incapacitated not by bullets but by distorting their perception of reality? Yet the question remains, how far did they really go? What were the full extents of MK Ultra, and how much do we still not know? The answers are as elusive as the program itself, buried under a mountain of classified documents and redacted reports. MK Ultra was not a figment of the imagination, but a real and disturbing chapter in American history. And as we delve deeper into this labyrinth, we'll uncover the blurred line between conspiracy theory and hard fact. So, where does the conspiracy end and the truth begin? The line might be blurrier than you think. In the late 70s, a series of documents were declassified, revealing the existence of a program known as MK Ultra. This was no work of fiction or product of a fevered imagination. It was a real initiative by the CIA with the aim of testing the effects of LSD and other hallucinogenic substances on human behavior. The disclosure of these documents sent ripples through the public psyche, confirming for some that the government was indeed dabbling in the dark arts of mind control. However, before we dive headfirst into the rabbit hole, let's clarify a crucial point. While the existence of MKUltra is a historical fact, there is no concrete evidence that the CIA was successful in their attempts at mind control. The documents reveal a series of tests, experiments, and trials, but none conclusively demonstrate that the agency managed to control or significantly alter a person's behavior or beliefs. Yet, the narrative of a government manipulating the minds of its citizens proved irresistible. The revelation of MK Ultra sparked a wildfire of speculation and fear that has since become entrenched in our popular culture. The idea of mind control has been explored in books, movies, and television shows, often with a sinister government agency pulling the strings behind the scenes. This fascination, this fear, has fueled countless conspiracy theories over the years. From claims of secret societies controlling world events to fears of subliminal messages in our media, the specter of MK Ultra looms large. It's an intoxicating narrative, one that plays into our deepest anxieties about power, control, and the unknown. The truth is, while MK Ultra was real, the extent of its success remains a mystery. Perhaps the real power of mind control lies not in the hands of the government, but in the power of belief.
MK Ultra may be a thing of the past, but its legacy lives on. Its imprint is found everywhere, from the pages of spy novels to the silver screens of Hollywood, even in the dialogue of our favorite TV shows. It's evolved, morphed, and taken on a life of its own. It's a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown, the clandestine, and the downright terrifying. In the end, the MK Ultra conspiracy is a chilling reminder of the lengths governments may go in the name of national security, whether it's fact or fiction, it's a story that continues to captivate and terrify us.